today, day 88. 88 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Uh, put the camera on, we'll get going. Doing some kind of construction today, right out in front of the house. Garbage truck is going by, all kinds of stuff. Ranger is not happy with the situation at all. Too much noise for him. He's trying to get in the house. What's going on, little guy? You're not happy? We're not going in. They're not coming in here to get you. He is not happy with the situation. There's too much noise. I don't know what they're putting in a new water pipe or something out here. It's really loud. Tearing up the asphalt. I'm gonna get get going and get out of here. Putting in on tearing up the street and everything. Oh boy. Well, what's going on? Like they're digging a hole or something. Let's get going. Alright, set the timer. Alright, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Stick around to the end. We'll see what Ranger's up to when I get back. Probably we want some food. I could feed him now, but he won't eat because it's too noisy. If it's noisy, he doesn't like to eat. I already fed him this morning. Kind of windy today. I put on shorts, but I have on a jacket too. A little cooler than I anticipated. Let's go see what's going on over here. Don't waste something. It was a day before yesterday I saw that 1960s white Corvette and a stork. A stork out in the middle of the field. That was something. It's always something interesting. What else did I see yesterday? A three-wheeler, three-wheeled, three-wheeler looked like a bat cycle. Somebody had a putting green in their front yard. It's always something. Every day. You never know what we're gonna see. A couple days ago, I saw a, a Indian Scout motorcycle. I saw a Harley Davidson going down the street. Didn't see it parked, but that was the first one I have seen. First Harley I have seen that wasn't parked. And then I walked, kept walking down the street and the guy came back up another block. I saw him again. It's a PT Cruiser. See these every now and then, but I don't think they make them anymore. Here's a bike. What kind of motorcycle is this? It's a, a BMW or I don't know what it is. I don't recognize that insignia. I don't know what this is. Let's see if it says over here. Nope. I don't know. Let me know if you know what that is. I can't see what it says anywhere on here. See if it says on the back. Nope. Just has this insignia. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let me know. Let me know if you know what it is. Because I don't have any idea. Hmm. Usually says somewhere. What, I, what it is, but not on that one. Let's see. Make it across here. Go 
we'll see what's going on up on this side of the street today. Always something new and different. Let's see. What did I see a few days ago? I saw a yellow, bright yellow lemon. It was a late 60s Chevelle. Muscle car, I think it was late 60s. I'm not sure what year it was, but that was pretty interesting. It's always something. Let's see what we see down here today. Here goes a blue late model VW bug. Oh, I forgot to put the over under on the. Here goes a muscle car, Mustang. Over under on Teslas. And, I don't know, we'll just say uh, nine and a half Teslas, four and a half muscle cars. Look at these bright flowers, look how bright they are. Love these neon purple. Um, dogs, three and a half. It was the first Tesla. Delivery trucks, two and a half. Let's see what we see. Always something. A little cooler than I thought. Probably would have worn long pants. All the daisies are blooming already. See a lot of nice flowers this year with the rain. They had a lot of rain this year. Pretty soon we're gonna have about a hundred blooms in the front of the house. Another couple, three weeks. Here comes this trash truck. I think he's following me around. Goodness, this is super loud. Where I go? There's another Mustang. Number two muscle car, uh, silver over there, silver Mustang. Maybe we'll see more muscle cars than Teslas today. Don't hold your breath. We've only seen one, but I got a feeling we're gonna see a ton more Teslas. No dogs yet, one cat, Ranger. Let's see what's going on. Bill, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row this is for you. If you you made it for a month, you've done 30 days in a row, or doing a mile a day, or half a mile a day just to get started, or all you can do is Time for is three days a week. Try doing that. Half the battle's just getting out and doing it. Or if you walk, walk on a treadmill, put this video on, it's like you're walking outside. See something new, different every day. Sometimes I go down to the beach and walk around there. It's about a month ago, there goes another Tesla, number two. I went down to uh, Hermosa Beach and saw the uh, 90210, uh, the beach house from that TV show 90210. Wait. Now it's telling me to wait, but I'm not waiting. I was right there on the, the 90210 house is right there on the corner of Hermosa and Manhattan Beach, right on the corner. But that used to be a super popular show. It was the late 90s, I think. So where Tori Spelling is getting a divorce. And she was her father, Aaron Spelling, ran that show and put her in it. Oof, wind. And then JC and Priestley came in and auditioned. She had a crush on him, and so she got her father to cast him in the show. That became super, super popular. 
but that's where they filmed it uh, the exteriors of the house obviously they filmed the interior I guess it, I think they filmed in Van Nuys cast members always said how they hated filming in Van Nuys super hot I mean, not the greatest city in the world there goes another Tesla number three in the valley Van Nuys in the valley but the uh, exterior it's beautiful down in Hermosa Beach right on the corner gorgeous weather beautiful view of the ocean that was I think about a did that about a month ago 30 40 days ago but I go down there every now and then and then every couple three weeks I go by the car shop uh, fast cars is the name of it it is Jeep's big Jeep they have all the Maseratis and Ferraris and Lamborghinis it's a big Jeep uh, I found out they get cars shipped to them from all over the world and they work on the cars there I'm gonna cut across up here they always I saw had a Ferrari there that was worth 16 million dollars and I didn't even know what it was so I, think I, I think I found out it was a 53 Spider or something Ferrari 53 Ferrari or 58 maybe it's 58 <sighs> red 58 red Ferrari Spider I think it's worth 16 million dollars feels a lot better walking with the wind as opposed to against it I walk a little another block or two down I like to walk by that guitar shop I don't know how far that is there's our first delivery truck number one There's another muscle car, Mustang. We're gonna say two Teslas and three muscle cars so far. I think they've all been Mustangs. So, uh, it's about three or four days ago. Saw a car. It's on a Mustang body, but it was called a Saline. Saline, I think. I never heard of it before. It was white like this one. It looked very similar to a Mustang, but they called it a Saline. I never heard of it and then we saw about a about a it's about a week ago I guess 10 days ago I saw a, a Shelby Mustang again built on a Ford body but they called it a shell it was because of Shelby Ford Shelby from a uh, guy Carol Shelby who's been dead a while now but he was one of the main characters in that movie Ford versus Shelby that was uh, Matt Damon was in it Matt Damon uh, played uh, Carol Shelby another Tesla number four Number four Tesla. Is that a Mustang up there? I'm not sure. I think so. It's number five Mustangs. They all have been all the muscle cars have been Mustangs today. Five Mustangs. Four um, Teslas. What is this car? What's it called? A Santa Cruz Hyundai. It's like a fairly recent model. Yeah, that's a Mustang. Four or five Mustangs and I 
fucking Ford Teslas. I've walked past here before. It's been a little bit farther than normal. We'll cut up by the main street and go up there. And I don't know if I've gone. There's another Tesla. Is that five of each? I think. I don't know. Kind of lose count, but about that. huge tree in this park. It's enormous. It must be 75 years old. It's been here longer than any of these houses or park or anything. Look how big it is. Enormous. Beautiful. It's a big tree. This is probably 75 years old. Probably were a lot of them before they built all these houses, they cut them all down. All right. Yeah, I'll go up here and see what we see up this street. Already at 0.75. Is this a yellow a VW? Not sure. Yep, late, late model. I don't know what year it is. Something from this century. <laughs> Sounds weird to say from this century. It's the 1900s. People start referring to the 1900s like they used to refer to the 1800s. The 1900s is going to seem like years gone by it's already 25 years gone 24 years gone by you believe it somebody was born in 2000 they're already 24 years old unbelievable all right another mustang number six let's say six mustangs five teslas six and not just muscle cars, they've all been Mustangs. Usually you see a Charger, Challenger, or Camaro, something else, Corvette, none of those today. There's a first delivery truck. There's another Tesla, six of each. A lot of cars down there. Well, since I'm going to go down the main street, I'm probably going to see a whole bunch of Teslas. No dogs. No dogs at all. Surprising. Usually see a, three or four dogs when I go this way. When I walk up the main street, I'm probably not going to see any. I have to go to the, there's a, a dog park not too far away. I haven't been to there. I've never been to it. Uh, I've driven past it. But I've never been to it, not even on this channel. I've just never been to it. Because I don't have a dog. But that might be fun to go to for the channel one day. Walk past there and see a few dogs. Try to go there in the next week or two. All right. We'll go down the main street and see what we see down here today. I'm sure we'll see something interesting. Always do. Well, if you've been watching the channel and you haven't started walking yet, just write down your goal. Write down your goal in the comments section. They say that people with written goals are a little 
house or is it one house or two? People, is this one house or two? I think it's two. No, it's two. Yeah, this house must be from the 50s. Gotta be. Got a little place you walk in. I guess you can put your shoes. That's kind of cool. And you don't get rained on. It's pretty neat. I never really noticed that house before. I'm gonna walk down here. But they say that people with written goals are 10 times more likely to achieve their goals than people that just think about them. So write down your goal. It's a Camaro. That number six, seven. And there's another Tesla, seven of each. All right. I don't know where this guitar shop is. Oh, here it is. We'll walk in here and see what's going on. I don't think they're open. Oh, that's a bummer. They're not open. Shoot. We walk down here specifically to go in here today. They're usually open this time of day. But they're not now. Bootlegger guitar. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go in there another time. I came down here specifically to go in there today. Oh, there goes that green Bentley. I saw that a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you could see it very well. It's a green Bentley. It's about a $150,000 car. Neon green. Number eight Tesla over there. It's got a seven, seven of eight, eight of the Tesla, seven muscle cars. I don't know. I lost count. Oh, there's another one red one right behind it number nine say it's nine teslas and seven muscle cars said it might rain on sunday but i don't think so i think we're kind of done with the rain and even if it does rain it probably won't rain much Much, feels much warmer walking back with the wind. Have to walk by that guitar shop another time. seen any vintage haven't really seen any vintage cars today so the no dogs highly unusual usually see a bunch of dogs on this walk well through the neighborhood not up this main street there goes another Tesla number 10 <laughs> We'll look across the street and see what the car shop, see if they have any cool vintage cars today. We've been over there in a minute. Maybe they have something today. Another Tesla, number 11. Another Tesla, number 12. So, 
and watching that uh, show on uh, TV series, a uh, 10, 10 part series on Paramount called uh, The Offer, which was about the, uh, the making of The Godfather. And I'd heard about it, it was, I think it came out a couple years ago. And it's uh, much more interesting than I anticipated. There's a runner. Hardly ever see any runners. But it's got uh, uh, who's the star of it? Uh, Miles Teller. He stars in it, and he also produced it. But there's a lot. I didn't know that the, there goes another Tesla 13. I didn't know the mob was so involved in uh, behind the scenes on that. He was a guy, he, producer. Got all involved with the mob making that movie they didn't want him to make it this is that guy's name Lou Colombo big mob boss Giovanni Rabisi plays him said he had to gain 54 pounds shave his head he's really good in it really really good Miles Teller was really good he looks like a movie star from the 60s like a Rock Hudson type of guy and he was really good in it, and his assistant, uh, it's a girl that was in Ted Lasso. She's really good in it, too. There goes a Charger. Is that eight muscle cars? But anyway, I think we watched eight parts of the 10. There's another Tesla. Is it 13? I don't know. But I would highly recommend it. It's really good. Didn't know there was so much going on behind the scenes to get that movie made. But the guy who originally produced it, can't think of his name now, uh, is still alive. He's, there goes another test of a 13, 90 years old, and he was one of the producers on this show. So that was kind of cool. They interviewed him a couple of times, and at the end of each uh each uh, show they have a little behind the scenes two or three minute behind the scenes and they interviewed him a couple times in it so that was kind of neat but i didn't know he was so involved with the mob and trying to get that movie made they didn't want him to make it frank sinatra didn't want him to make it and he met with the mob and it's all kinds of stuff so if you like the godfather you probably really like this of course there was some artistic license taking and making the series but it was interesting I'd say it's like I said the guy that lived it helped produce this one so he was okay with it I guess because he was a producer on it what was his name uh, Al Ruddy I think that's his name Al Ruddy there are a lot of there's a lot of really good performances in the movie actors are really good That's my review of the offer, the making of the Godfather. Highly recommend it. Saying it's a favorite series, my favorite, the favorite series I've watched since the uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I really enjoyed that series. That went on for four or five seasons. That was a really, really good series. That's two favorite series I've watched in the last few years. I re remember when uh, they're talking about that show, The Offer. But I don't know why, I just didn't think it would be that interesting. Let's see what they got over at the car shop today. Anything interesting? Uh, not that I can really see so far. Uh oh, somebody left a purse out here. Wow, well, sure it's empty. Yep. Wouldn't be sitting up there if it wasn't. I don't see anything really old over there today. Kind of some type of wagoneer or something. This doesn't look that much cool stuff over there today. Got that 69 Lincoln sitting out there trying to sell it. They've been trying to sell it for three months. 
they tell me that poor it's a couple and the man that was having it worked on passed away and his wife was asking him if they could try to sell it for him for her and not having much luck trying to get what she wants out of it i guess i think i put the phone number on uh, one of the past videos so i'm gonna check that out hello how are you oh fine thank We're you open soon. oh really finally it's huh finally. And it's, it's been gorgeous. two years gorgeous in there yeah I when are they, they're the going to open that? It and it's and, darling. I and, love El Tarasco. In the next month or so? I love their, uh, yeah, he said it May, the day after Cinco de Mayo. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's, it's so been. Pretty. I love their uh, El Tarasco and uh, El Mondega suit. Yeah, it's been like two years. I know, I said we've been waiting. Like, <laughs> I said that's a lie coming soon, but it is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> God bless, my dear. All right, have a good day. We have a place we can all walk to. Yeah, exactly. opening up two years like she said it's been coming soon for two years that's a, I think he said that's a 58 Mercedes they've been trying to sell that forever too put that on one of the videos uh, I don't know a month six weeks ago he said it was a 58 Mercedes There goes another Mustang. I don't know how many that is. Nine, ten, eight, nine. We've seen three more, like 12 or 13 Teslas. Nine or ten muscle cars. So wait here for the light to change. Here we go. All right. Saw that green Brent Bentley again. Saw that a, you know, it's probably about a two or three weeks ago, I guess. But it was driving down the street the same, same street. Neon green Bentley. See if we see it on the tape. I can't believe it walked this whole time. It's kind of a longer walk and zero dogs. Really unusual. No cat, one cat, Ranger. Let's see what Ranger's doing back, doing when we get back. Probably trying to sleep in the sun. Those workers aren't there. Maybe you want some food. Another test. What was that 13? Seen that guy, that worker, about every few weeks he's laying in that yard. He takes a lunch break up there or something. I don't know what he's working on. All right. A little bit longer walk today, but it's gone quickly. So that motorcycle, I didn't know what that was. You know what that motorcycle was. Let me know. I didn't recognize that insignia. Something. Maybe foreign? I don't know. Never seen the brand and they didn't have their name on it. A truck with a camper on it. What's going on there? Hey, sleeps in there or something. I don't know. Got like a license plate on the side or something? So let's go over here and check it out. Uh-oh, workers are still there. That's not good. Ranger's not going to be happy about that. What's it say? Nothing worth having comes easy. Route 66. Oh, boy. Maybe he does sleep in there. Kind of looks like it. 
cheap rent no rent all right now let's see what these workers are doing and see what ranger's up to